Underground Crypto. Hey, this is the Underground Crypto back at it again. Body. We going to do it. So a lot of big noise with PayPal. So PayPal came out in October said they're going to custody crypto, custody crypto and enable us to buy and sell cryptocurrency. So this was huge news and was it today, yesterday? They broke the news that this has launched and everything went crazy. Everything news all over in crypto land went crazy. So this is this is a very bullish bullish sign for cryptocurrency cuz PayPal has over 340 million users. So now these 340 million users that some may not a majority may not know about cryptocurrency they'll say oh wow i could go on there and buy some crypto now i could buy some bitcoin and i i i'm one of those 340 million users so i went on paypal i was like all right let me check it out like ah right at the top i saw buy crypto the but there are some downsides to it though but the benefit the upside though is a lot of people will be buying crypto so the market share which i think is over 400 billion or so that's going to continue to rise so not financial advice not a financial advisor this is for entertainment purposes only we may see those prices that we saw back in 2018 you know it's already started bitcoins over 16,000 climbing to 20,000 and the altcoins, the sleeping giant, will follow. Right? So, that's going to be our show today. A lot of excitement about PayPal. Where you can now buy and sell crypto. But what's the downside to it? You know, a lot of YouTube YouTubers are talking about the excitement of PayPal. Bitcoin going up, blah, blah, blah. But what's the downside? All these 340 million users... Going on PayPal, buying cryptos, there's a downside to it. So we're going to talk about that today. All right, so let's kick it off. Before we do, let's look at Stella, right? So Stella is definitely in the bullish, bullish, bullish phase right now so this this is looking at the all-time chart and you can see this was back in 2018 right so in december right and the markets have a cycle right and and that's how they're able to make prediction and basically right now we're in speculation so a lot of people new to crypto they're speculating the price will go up, so they don't want to miss the boat, so they're buying cryptos, right? But we can see back here in 2017, the price started to take off. So it was at four cents, seven cents. This is where we're at right now, around the seven, eight cents, nine cents, and then boom, took off, rocket ship. And right there, this is where. You FOMO, you try not to miss out, but it's too late. So that's why you got to load the bags now. You know, I just bought, I bought me some XLMs today, right? Still at a great price because when it goes up here, it's going to be too late. All right, not financial advice. So please do your own research, right? So looking at the, the monthly... Right, we can see we have a resistance here at seven cents, so it's not going below seven. So, this is a good sign. A couple of times it tested the seven cent level resistance level there. All right, we took off, there's some pullback, and we're gonna take off again. So, we're in the bullish phase just to start. For XLM. The sleeping giant is about to wake up and shake. 
the other altcoins will just move out the way. Right now we're 17. We're just going to keep smashing through. Top 10. Top 10 coin. Right? So bullish stands for stellar. And one of the big reasons that I mentioned earlier, a bullish stance is PayPal. Right? So a lot of a lot of good news there for PayPal. Right? And this is definitely going to have a bullish stance for us. Uh, one quick reminder there, just uh, as a reminder, this is another bullish news here. Meridian 2020. Make sure you signed up. Sign up. I signed up already. I got my swag. You know, you get Stella socks. You get the mug, the bag, Stella sticker. Right? So make sure you sign up for that. So that's kicking off next Monday. So it's Monday through Thursday. And they have a lot of speakers. A lot of speakers. So with all these speakers, there's going to be speculation. The price is going to rise. There she is, Danell Dixon, CEO. I expect the price to go up potentially end of next week. Right? This is a top 10 coin. Top 10. Sleeping Giant. Stella. Look more into PayPal. So why... Beware of buying cryptocurrency on PayPal. And you can also buy cryptocurrency on Cash App as well. Right? So we're going to look into PayPal. Right? This is great news for PayPal, but what's what's the downside? Right? So we're going to read this clip from boingboing.net. That's a real website, boing boing. Right? Sounds kind of funny. Right. So first, you can't actually use the cryptocurrency to buy and sell things through PayPal. Hence that paying for goods and services with cryptocurrencies could be possible in the future. So what they're saying is you can't buy and sell things where I think other sites you can. They're saying it may be possible in the future, but not right now. So this article continues to say the problem is. Every crypto exchange in the world already lets you pay for things with cryptocurrencies. But PayPal is not. Why not? What are they holding back? Why are they holding back this feature right now? This feature should be enabled at this moment. So that's, num that's number one. That's strike one. That's, that's a big one there. And this is another big one here as well. That's why I have this in red. Right, so PayPal controls the private keys associated with any cryptocurrency you buy through PayPal. So right now there are four cryptocurrencies you can buy with PayPal. I think it's Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, and one other. I think Litecoin. Right, so they don't have Stella the Sleeping Giant. I'm sure they will. I'm sure they'll have XRP, Cardano, and some of the others. But this is, this is a big one right here. Right? And if you don't control your private keys, it's not really, it's not really yours. That's a habit on a ledger offline. Right? So they hold it. Right? So let's continue here. What that means is that you have only illusory, illusory control. I never I don't think I ever heard that word before. But you have false control of your cryptocurrency, not actual control. They can decide to take your Bitcoin away from you and force you to do through a difficult appeal process to get it back. Now that that is that's crazy right there. That's that is that is outrageous. With PayPal's long history of freezing people's account for all sorts of reasons. It doesn't seem like a good idea to buy through PayPal. Buy crypto through PayPal. So that's just some of the things that you need to be aware of right there. 
You know, buying through PayPal sounds good, but it's not really a good idea. You know, you could purchase a full Bitcoin right now is at 16000 You want to transfer it over to your Ledger Nano? Nope. We control your private keys. You can't transfer it out. All right. And that leads us to the next point here. The crypto in your account cannot be transferred to other accounts. So this is point number three. So it can't be transferred off PayPal. So it's stuck there. So you don't have your private keys. You can't transfer it out. You can't purchase anything with it. What good is it for? What, what's the use? Right? So not really a good idea. And they could lock your account at any time. Right? So PayPal, people don't get mad at this video. We're just letting the people know. Right? So there are a lot of other places you can buy Bitcoin, Stellar. Right, there's Binance.us, there's Kraken, there's Qcoin, there's Coinbase, there's Bitmart, there's Voyager, there's Bitrix, there's Atomic Wallet, OceanX, CoinX. So there's a lot of other places that you can buy cryptos. Right, so we're gonna look at a couple of the other uh, FAQs here. We're just going to run through a couple of things here. So we already know the four different coins you could buy, right? I think I got them, got all four of them right there. Do I need a sign up for anything? You have need PayPal Cash. Can I use crypto to pay or send money? Looks like it's no. Are there any fees? So I did read that. There are no fees until end of December. I'm not sure how true that is. But there will be... They will have fees. That's how they make money. Right? They're making a lot of money because when you buy and sell cryptos, you should see the fees. The fees are outrageous. I think it's the highest fees out of everything. I'm not sure what other fees are higher. With stocks, it's nice and simple. No fees, but... So it's a different world with cryptocurrency. Sometimes they do have promotions like crypto.com. They'll say uh, no fees for this time. But they're, they're going to get their money. That's how they make their money. Why is there an exchange rate for crypto? Right? The exchange rate tells you how much crypto dollar, crypto, because of the crypto is constantly changing. So this is basically saying you're swapping currency. So... There's an exchange rate for it. Can I transfer crypto in and out? We already answered that question. No. Will PayPal protect my crypto? This might be one benefit. You know, if it gets hacked, they may protect it. But they say what we can't protect you from are losses that result from crypto prices going way down. So what they're saying is Bitcoin drops to 100 bucks. They can't protect that. But they may protect it. Will I get my private keys? No. Where does the money go when I sell my crypto? The money goes directly to your PayPal cash. How long does it take to receive money from selling crypto? I don't know. I don't know even if they even answer this question here. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Are you planning to buy crypto on PayPal? Are you bullish on this? Are you bullish on PayPal? I'm not. I'm staying away from that. All right. So in, in the last video, we did mention the winner of the 50 XLMs. I did give away 50 XLM digital assets. Jared, please reach out and I'll send you the 50 XLMs. If you don't, Within a, a few weeks, I'll have to select another winner. So I'll be waiting for you to reach out, and then I'll send you the 50 XLMs, right? Also, in December, I'll be giving away a Nano S, a Ledger Nano, Nano S hardware wallet. 
so you can store your cryptos offline because there's going to be a lot of hacking. You know, we've seen hackers go out and try to steal people's bitcoins and other cryptocurrencies. And it's just going to get even For some coins, you have to store it offline. You know, you, you can with some of the uh, platforms like Crypto Earn. Crypto dot com gives you Crypto Earn like percent, but now it's like one percent, two percent, four percent. So they're not really giving you that much, right? So December will be giving away. So make sure you subscribe and like the video. Also, the 500 XLM giveaway that we're doing, all right? That's when we get to a certain amount of subscribers. So we have the 50 XLM that will be given away to Digital Asset Jared. If he doesn't contact me, I'll be reaching out to someone else, selecting someone else as the winner. The 500 XLMs and the in December the Ledger Nano S hardware. I'll be mailing that out to a lucky subscriber. All right, that's a wrap. Thanks a ton for watching. Stand clear of the closing doors. The next stop for Stella is the moon. Let's get it. We don't have that much competition. They would use Stellar to make their payments faster.